it's mid-September and there are only two fish that I'm interested in catching this time of year. One's barbel and the other is big perch. So the method that I'll be using today is live baiting. And this is one of my favorite methods for catching big perch this time of year. Um, my setup is not too dissimilar from what I use for my pike fishing and my zander fishing. Um, but for perch, um, I've just gone with a barbel rod. Uh, this is a 12 foot barbel rod. I've got a 4,000 reel on there and 12 pound line. My rig basically consists from top to bottom, I've got a float stop, I've got a small round predator float. I like these small ones because they, they hold up well in eddies and even though there's no flow on the water today, they, I just find that they're light and, and they're my favourite to use. Uh, coming down from that I've got my up trace, although just above that actually I've got another stop. Um, some people like to put a bead or a buffer bead over the swivel to protect the knot. I've just put another stop there so that the, the float falls down on it. And I have my up trace and that comes down to a John Roberts boom, which has got an extender tube on it. Uh, you can buy these extender tubes in small packs from your tackle shop. And what I do is I just cut them directly in half and that's more than long enough for keeping a live bait away from the rest of your rig. And um, at the end, where it comes out, I've basically crimped in a small fox clip and in front of that where the uh, trace comes up to the clip I've got a buffer bead just to kick it away from the end of the boom and then attached to that fox clip I've um, made up a small trace with a single treble, this is about four inches long and um, sometimes uh, I might use a single hook, a size two single hook and you could use that and it, and it works perfectly. Today I've gone with a treble um, and that's that's what I'm using and at the other end from the lower end of the boom I've attached a piece of six pound line which goes down to a one and a half ounce lead and I will adjust this depending on the depth of where I'm fishing Bait. Let's cast out and see what happens. When I go fishing for any predators I'm generally roving so um, I like to use a light setup. Um, I like to keep everything in one rucksack. I've got a, this small rucksack seat that I'm using at the moment. So here's a good tip for live baiting. Um, if you're like me and you like to jump from swim to swim you don't really want to carry too much stuff and um, this is a small drop shot rod, about six feet long, and all I've done is replace the reel with a, a float reel with four pound line, and this breaks down and sticks in the top of my bag, you know, if I want to move to another area which involves more walking. 
but um, most of the time I just carry it around with the other rod. But it's it's so conveniently light and uh, easy that um, I think I'll always use it. First fish, not a monster, but it's a start. So when it comes to locating these big perch, um, I tend to normally focus on these sort of deep holes that you get not far off the bank um, where you've got a bit of cover, but a few trees, um, you know, with the dark spots. And it helps if you see small fish topping there because you know that there's probably gonna be a few predators underneath. Um, I was fishing a pipe just before I came to this swim. Um, it's a small pipe that comes out from a, a sewage plant and that gives the river some oxygen and uh, particularly in that spot and all the small fish are attracted to it and um, the only problem with that swim in particular is that it's become very popular and a lot of the big, the big perch and the, and the pike have already been caught so it was a bit of a long shot fishing it yesterday but I thought I'd give it a go. So I've been roving for the last few days to see if I can get a good perch for camera and it's been really hard. Um, and I've managed to get a, a few around the pound mark. No monsters, but I've just had this one. This is about a pound and a half and it's probably the biggest one I'm going to get. So, small success, but I'm happy. <laughs> 